evil within. Thank you so much for joining me once again here today. We are hopping right back in where we left off in the last episode. We are starting chapter 8. So you guys just sit back, relax, enjoy the video. And if I sound a little tense, it's because uh, I'm coming off of episode 7. And if you watch that, uh, that got a pretty intense, dude. Oh, did they see me? No. Jeez. I don't have any. So, deal with these guys. Oh, as always, if you are a, please don't see me, returning member of the family, thank you so much for joining me once again here today. If you are brand new, thank you for stopping by as well. Hope you enjoyed the content. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how to deal with these guys. Maybe bolt them, freeze them, freeze them and smack them. Let's go. Run, 
Looks like we made it. Alright, let's shimmy on through here. Let's see what happens next. Okay, let's see what fresh hell awaits us in this section, shall we? Search for supplies. Oh, hell yeah, bullets. Babies. Oh no, thank you. Oh no, thank you, babies. way and he put it in the blood would have smeared over it right 
So it should go this way. Right? Let's give it a shot and see what happens. All right, three, two, one. figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. He... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's... like linking brains together. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Well, I didn't say it was perfect. Especially not with such a... unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. Not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. And he's a what does jerk he want? Base. Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. to scroll them back. Oh, and Doctor? He's gone. All right, well, the good doc's side at the sayonara, sucker. This is weird, a journal here. Usually they're in the rooms where I go to see the nurse and save my game. Anyway, Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, June 16th, 2009. We dropped off Lily for her first day at preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. She seems like she'll be fine. Myra, God bless her, has had, excuse me, a tough three years. Raising a baby is a full-time job, and she's finally going to get the break she deserves. By break, I mean coming back to the KCPD Missing Persons Bureau. The amount of disappearances here seems to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be missing. I exaggerate, of course, but there's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped, and Myra will help see to that. She's damn good at her job and obviously happy to be back in her element. All right, a bit of backstory. <laughs> Like there's only one real way to go right here. Oh shit. up into 
episodes by chapter. Uh, we'll go ahead and call that one right there. So that's a nice short one for you guys. So uh, if you've been with me through the series this far, thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, if so, as always, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And now I'm really not looking forward to the next episode because... Now we're going to have to deal with that big monster and Rusev, and I feel like it's feeling like shit's about to hit the fan big time. Um, so I'll see you there for that one. As always, I hope you guys have a, an absolutely wonderful day or night, 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 or whenever you are watching this, and I will catch you right back here for the next one very, very soon. Uh,